at this point you can go ahead and put the tube in on the tubing syringe right into the bottle without even taking it apart aspirating it that way and go ahead and pull up ever how many ounces have you been you here need. at the university tell us a little bit about your background and and what what your uh, status is here please i'm uh, the research specialist at the sheep unit and uh, we basically do research and uh, do a lot of teaching with the sheep flock here. Uh, went uh, to school at the university, got my bachelor's degree in animal science and uh, master's degree in genetics. And uh, started working here at the sheep unit right away, right after school. Been here roughly about 22 years. <coughs> of the, uh, the insert. And that'll help set the vacuum also. The major thing that you want to remember now when you go up so you so she's got a good bag on her, so you should be able to see it pretty well. When you go up on there, you'll see him go up. The teat will go into the extractor tube. Be sure and hold that bottle back towards, tip it back from the bottom like this, towards the pump, and then he'll engage with the teat and start. Now see how far it sucked that teat down into that extractor tube? That's why we have the inserts in there. They will work and then after we pull a little bit out of here, we're gonna go ahead and, and redo it again and I'll show you that we can do it without the um, <coughs> extractor tube in it. How far did it pull down in there? We couldn't see that over here. How far it's all the way down. It's all the way down. Back, this shoe's got tips that are way too big. That's part of the problem. That's what you, her tag's already cut too. Okay, now we're getting to release it. We don't want to. He just kicked. We've just pulled the uh, colostrum from one of the U's, so our next step is we're going. We're going to go ahead and tube them, correct? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, Basically, we get the colostrum out in a, in a small bottle and we can unscrew it. And we can do this one or two ways. If the lamb is going to stay with the ewe, it'd probably be advisable just to tube the lamb instead of getting him used to the bottle. And uh, we use uh, just a basically 60cc uh, syringe with a catheter tubing or a feeding tube. Uh -huh. And uh, we can. Uh, load the tube right straight out of the bottle. Now that bottle is eight ounces, so that constitutes um, right at uh, 160 cc's. Right, and so we basically, we, we try to give the lamb the first time that we give them colostrum at least two ounces. Okay, and so how much did you pull out of the bottle then? About half of it, correct? Right. Okay, all right, super. Uh, and I just hold uh, there mouth open with my thumb, and then I slide, start sliding the tube down. Um, straight in? Straight in, and then once that tube goes in uh, all the way in his mouth, <laughs> and this is not a very big lamb, and I still got that tube all the way down. That means that I and, and carrying on. Um, so I hold him between my legs like this, so I can get him in the corner and hold him up. Open his mouth, and then just start right uh, in the middle. <laughs> Slide it on in. You like that piece of equipment? That's my favorite piece of equipment. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but usually by then they're cold. <laughs> like that, fill the tear up, and then squeeze. Squeeze this at the top, close first. No, no, pull down. Just use your fingers. Don't let the milk go back up. Yeah, first time. Yeah, you got. She's got real small uh, holes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull down. Just use your tip of your finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, for somebody that doesn't know how to milk one. It's 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 a pretty handy thing to have. The students here use it a lot. Uh, 
when we have a ewe with, uh, with a lot of milk, Ostrum drawn, uh, what's the next step, Andre? The next step is uh, if the lamb is going to be pulled off that ewe and uh, not stay with her, we can go ahead and give him, uh, basically give him a bottle of colostrum or milk. And uh, these nipples fit uh, very tightly inside the opening of this bottle, where you basically don't even have to use the top of the bottle. Uh, we just pulled him off the unit about two hours ago and uh, we tried this nipple on him for the first time and he's already nursing it so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, this is the this is the lamb that I just pulled off that ewe a minute ago. I don't know if he'll nurse yet, but he'll try it. What do you do if you don't if you don't want to test and how to stuff? This is the one I used to took out of that you just a minute ago and he's already nursing, so nipple works pretty good. <laughs> well that's that's what we wanted to know because we're I'll show you the ones I got look just like this in there. Uh -huh. But they don't have the, the top one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks like he seems to be taking it pretty decently, huh? Yes. It's a right size nipple for, for a lamb, so it's very easy to train him to take the bottle right at, straight uh -huh. off. Now are these... <laughs> This group in here, are these the bummer lambs that you've pulled off, the excess lambs? Yeah, or? these are all basically triplets that we have pulled one off the set and uh, we pulled, if we are going to pull them off the set of triplets, we try to pull them off pretty pretty quick to get them used to the bottle. The, easy, the quicker you pull them off the U, the easier they are to train to the bucket. get to. So you want to band him first and basically the way you band him, if one person can do it, hold the lamb like this and hopefully they will be on his scrotum. Now all you have to do is open the band, push up and turn loose and they should be. Yes, let him check and see. Andre, count check. two. <laughs> and then you got to roll the band off and be careful that you don't take the band off. Check, see. Yep, I feel too. Talk about two little teeth in there, Andre. Okay. You see how he's got that rudimentary teeth on each side of the scrotum? The males has got them just like the females. You don't want to get those in the band. You want to leave those in the body. I can't get I go in, there's two folds of skin. If you hold the tail up like this, you can see where they start. That's where you want to put the band in. Uh, you can leave it longer than that if you want to. Uh, I don't like to leave them very long at all, so I usually put the band there where those folds are. Put your finger right on his rectum, and then you have a finger distance between that and uh, where you put the band. A width, about a half inch or an inch, so. And then if you, if you uh, let go of the pressure on the band and you turn it loose and you move it back and forth, that band will fall in between two joints. Or between a joint and that it will cut the circulation even better. So that, basically that would be all I do to them. Uh, here I got 30 lambs running in the barn. I get tired of looking at the tail stinking. So I just cut them off. <laughs> And since I already got a band on him, I already put a band on him, he's not going to bleed. Don't anybody take it out!
Pork. Try to pour him out. Show him how you pour him out, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's pretty slick, isn't it? Yep. None of y'all weigh, weigh lambs at first, though, do you? None of you? <laughs> okay, go for it, Chief. Okay, the, the, we vaccinated for sore mouth, which is, uh, did you talk to them about that? Yes, and I asked them about it, and none of them to do that. Right? We have sore mouth here, which is a virus that they get in their mouth. And if you have shows, or you're planning on showing your animals at a county fair or anywhere like that, they should be vaccinated. Because if not, then when you bring them back home, the vaccine on there, and that uh, it'll develop a little sore in that area, and then that lamb will, won't, will not get the sore mouth again. We do it on the inside of the leg. Uh, Basically, get a little bit of skin out like this, and then scratch, and then paint the vaccine on there. Anybody old enough to have a small pot? Yeah, yeah. The three steps of putting the uh, milker together before you get ready to start milking the ewe just simply take the milker itself, snap in the, uh, the clip that goes on and holds the bottle on. The next thing you always want to make sure of is attach your bottle to the extractor tube before you put it onto the pump. The next thing that you want to do, this is the number two extractor tube, both inserts go into that tube. Just seat it down there, push it down over the top like this, and it's ready to go. The next step is very simple. Just line up to the, uh, to the clip, it goes right in there, and that's the main thing. The other process is always make sure that that back, you're, when you go up underneath the bag like this and start milking, that you have the bottle tip back towards the pump. This little process right here is your vacuum lock. That has to be up against the pump. If you go up underneath the bag then, pump two or three times, you lock on. Once you've got the teat locked on, then go up into the bag and like the baby would punt the U give it a couple more pumps, and then let it settle down. At this point, you have two things working for you. Not only the vacuum, but the gravity. 